Okay. Good evening and welcome to the Wednesday, May 10th, 2017 select board meeting being held in the Amherst Regional Middle School Band Room. It is now 6 something, 6.05 p.m. and this meeting is called to order. This is one of our unusual pre-town meeting sessions during which we have no public comment and in fact tonight I don't even think we even have any visitors coming to see us that we're aware of and so this will hopefully be a rather brief meeting but we always like to leave it on the schedule just in case Steph comes up because Steph has a tendency to do that when you're in town meeting session. And in terms of actual items tonight, the one thing that we had planned that we would do tonight is we would look at our calendars. We had previously received a couple different versions of this calendar. A slightly different version of it is on our desk tonight. And basically, the staff took off the meetings we've already been having over the last couple of weeks because it was a May schedule. Uh, oh, and so they uh, reflected reality rather than possibility. And so this does not include a meeting for tomorrow night. And we can talk about whether or not we intend to have town meeting tomorrow night uh, in terms of what we intend to recommend to the body in a little while. But that's why this starts with the 15th, which is next Monday, which we're assuming at this point we'll still be, we'll still be in town meeting for. Um, given how things are going, it feels theoretically possible that town meeting will indeed end prior to July. And why so... Are why are you we, jinxing it? <laughs> I, that. I said July. Oh, you, did okay. say July. you did say July, so, not June. Um, that's why some of these are bold in terms of May 22nd as being a regular meeting. meeting mm -hmm. A mere two weeks from now, mm -hmm. we could be having a regular meeting back in the town room because town meeting was over, and if not then, then June 5th. Of course, then we start to run into the fact that at some point this summer, we are more than likely not going to have all five of us together. That's just going to be the reality. We will absolutely avoid that happening when it comes to dealing with the town manager's evaluation, for example, because that's just how we do things in our select board. But there might be some other meetings we do, in fact, need to hold simply because most of us can be there and we have to get some business done. So this is the calendar we have in front of us. Is there anything else that's obvious as to just not going to work since you've had a chance to look at this more? So can I do something? Sure. Because why it looks like this. So what we tried to do is look with the, vac the schedules that you had for the summer, try and mm -hmm. map that on here, and then um, look for a meeting schedule that was somewhat regular like every other week because um, I think it's a it's helpful healthy for our department to have an every other week schedule for the summer at least and that's we tried to match it with your schedule so when more the most people are here mm -hmm. and this can be moved around <coughs> or added meetings obviously so the bolded ones are the ones that Deborah and I sort of took a crack at and said these would be good meetings to have but obviously this is the one you want to meet and it's you know, the, the sort of short changed month is August uh, mm -hmm. because of the schedule. So, two meetings. It's mm -hmm. not unusual, I think, in a, any, any community. Mm -hmm. right. So, if the rest of you want to take a moment to dig through more of your and papers sure so I can find out the right. old version of this, we did want to be cautious and not have anything possibly go online that indicated when people might be away. We do not try and advertise when we're actually going to be away. Go ahead. An edit, as it were. Mm -hmm. yep. So uh, the 12th of June, as well as the 19th, I'm actually in town but not available because of events on those evenings. Okay. So, so we can, we should you can just add me as a dug away to, yeah. to June 12th, <clears throat> which was only going to happen if, if town meeting happens is the way I'm reading it. Well, again, Monday, right? by, then, by then we will surely be done with town meeting. And so the question is, given that we have such a short month in August, is there an appropriate amount of material that we need to do stuff in June? That's where it starts to get tricky. About what's coming up on the calendar. Yeah. That would be worth knowing. Mm -hmm. I'm nope. um, like, you want to give an overview? That would be Yeah, fine. so um, we'll when we start to map out what was in our agenda planning, um, things coming up would be, um, next Monday would be the recreational marijuana first look, and then a discussion about fall meeting dates, fall town meeting dates. Uh, Deborah's reaching out to all the 
critical people in terms of what days they're, what weeks they're available. For two weeks in November, I think, typically is when you start looking for that. May 17th, there's a possible tree removal request. Um, that's still uh, not, not verified yet, but just uh, for at 415 Shade Street. Uh, May 22nd, we were looking at liquor license policies, which we have a draft of. Um, we would look at, if t depending on when town meeting concludes and resolves, a post town meeting wrap up. So we would go through everything and see what actions the board needs to take, um, make some proclamations and things like that. Um, and then I think June re it really starts to build into the committee appointments and reappointment process and the performance evaluation and goal setting for this town manager. And that those are time consuming tasks. So those are the major things that we see coming up, the time-consuming ones, I'll say. And do you want to add to the list, because we haven't had a meeting where we've sat down and updated the parking lot or whatever. Yeah. Just tell me <coughs> so we'll want to add um, how that 60000 that's been added to community services. That would be like the post-town meeting. Oh, yeah, that you want, you want to plan I, well, that. I, I know. Very understood. It, and part of the, there's two reasons for that. One <coughs> is we're definitely going to need to call it out as its own item. Yep. Got it. And the other is that we have, never too strong word, we do not normally actually debrief on actions. We still need to take what we normally debrief on is the things that we need to, we feel the need to talk about in terms of how things went, how we might do things better at the next town meeting. Okay. And we share that with TMCC. It's a really good idea for us to also have a list of, okay, these things were asked This of. has to go to the Attorney General. This has yes. To, yeah. That would be helpful. We've yep. not done that before, so that would be good. And the 60K yep. would be part of that. We would just want to make sure we call it out as its own agenda item. Yeah. But also, you took that as a separate action from town meeting to have that meeting. So you're right. That should be a separate agenda item. But I'm I'm referring to the meet. That's two issues. Yeah. So there's a meeting in September, September regarding all of community yes. services. And then there's also an agenda item just in June, meeting. roughly, yeah. that says this is what we'll do next yeah, to figure it. this out. Not that we'll have a solution <coughs> per se, but to let people know yeah. that we're continuing to follow through on that. And as you say, there may be other items. Traditionally, we have not done a fantastic job of that sort of follow-up, but we will do better this time. So thank you. Ms. Kruger? For thinking of that. Yes, Ms. Kruger. Um, and looking at the schedule, it, it occurred to me where, where we have a sparse month that there may be the flexibility among us to have a daytime or a morning meeting if we had things like a backup of licenses or things that people were waiting on us to act on, um, that maybe there would be some flexibility to add something uh, in daytime hours. I, I, don't, I'm, I have a flexible schedule, but I don't know if that's true for others, but sometimes the summer allows for some of that flexibility. That is a good point. Sometimes it does, not for all, but some enough for some that it may make it work because as you say, if it's licenses and we only need three people there to do it, it much, may be much easier to get those three people together um, to do such a thing. So there is that. Even, even if it's not an, an Amherst Media broadcast, which it might not be, depending on the, you know, the sort of how much you know, public interest there would be, you won't have to guess at that. I'm fairly certain that the reason that I'm scrambling through my pile here to look for my previous version of this is because I gave it away at one point <laughs> when uh, I was saying add some meetings here and drop some meetings there. And so actually it was all add, none of it was dropped. And I suspect that that has been well incorporated into this, and I don't pretend I haven't memorized. But one of the things that I was looking at then that was making it challenging was our town manager evaluation process right. in terms of our reading night, mm -hmm. um, uh, seeing what each other has written, and, be, and then being able to see if that is reflected in the chair's summary report. And that is frequently involves a couple of meetings, not just the 14th and the 28th. The 14th is too soon for the evaluation probably to have been prepared, especially when people are away prior to the 14th <coughs> and are unable to run. And the, um, and the 28th is getting a little late, although 
you know, we have some flexibility on that too. And mainly it's that we do the evaluation and then we are able to have executive session, but we are also able to then start talking about goals because we like to do that as early as possible. So do we want to say that um, given what we know now, we would not schedule June 12th as a regular meeting. It would only be a pre-town meeting if needed because we know we have two people away. We will bear in mind that there will be a, there's the possibility of having summer daytime meetings for straightforward things, uh, minutes, licenses, parking issues, um, potentially common issues, little things like that. The, um, we prefer not to do a tree removal that way. We no. prefer to have a larger yeah, group available for that. So is this looking like it relatively comports with what you, I mean, we can change things if we have to as time goes, but it would be good to have a sense that these will work for people now. And then we would have a motion uh, on our motion sheet. Yeah, the one thing I would just, for disclosure purposes, on August 28th, I will be in town, but I may have a conflict for a portion of the meet that could overlap portion of the meeting so that I could be possibly late for that meeting. Um, so it depends on what we're anticipating doing on that day, but um, you know, given that four people will be here and I basically will be here for part of the meeting, if not all of it, and can't tell you for sure, um, I would suggest not doing okay. anything with that date. But we'll, we'll keep that in mind so that if that turns out that's going to have some association with the town manager evaluations, a question as we get closer as to how much of it will be that night, and we will just assure, ensure that we don't do it while you're not there. We'll do something else while you're not there. Um, other questions or comments along those lines, or does someone want to read that motion? You want to read it? No, I was going to say, oh. say I've still oh. got a chunk of, as I mentioned, I've got some uncertainty around the late July and the first part of August, but. You know, we, just, we just can't work with that, Mr. Wald. <laughs> I know. Just telling you. We, had, we had you blocked out for a month, Mr. Wald. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but because it was either way. I believe the moment participation yeah. comes just to mind. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> There's just not a lot we could do with that at this point. No, I don't mind. So as reason. you, as we find out, however, yeah. you know, as we get closer, right. then we may want to shift something from one week to another week right. instead. Before we have the motion, another yes, thought bubble here. Mm -hmm. um, since um, the 14th is, um, August 14th is um, when people are coming back, so there's some, you said it's too early for certain things, um, August 28th is getting late. Might it make sense to consider, I think it would be August 21st, um, as one of the adding, um, we were missing someone during that week. Oh, okay. Just this one. And, okay. and the other problem is the 14th is missing me. Yes. And so, yeah, me. Um, and you. Okay. And so the 14th is, I don't know why it doesn't say some members are away. Because, um, so that, um, so we would have four members and maybe the assistant town manager or we'd be on our own. That so, would, we cannot, we're not going to do the, Evaluate town manager. No, no, obviously. I, I, I didn't mean, I just, right. I'm, I'm considering the viability or the desire to add August 21st, if that made any sense, because we, we knocked out August 7th, and I understand about the pattern of every other, but we have the opportunity. But you said somebody wasn't here on the 21st. And, Andy's not here. I don't Andy. Think on the 21st. Okay, so we'd be. And listening. I'm not here on the 14th. No, so, I, I, I got so that. So in both cases, we can do. Some stuff mm -hmm. on either the 14th or the 21st, and so those should have been treated equally yep, by sure. by yeah. this chart, um, which I did not see. So I, think now. I so wonder, wonder if we should do it as a placeholder, and if we decide we it's not viable or we don't want to do it, knock it out. But that way, at least we've held that as a possibility. There's, uh, yeah, there are two of right town manager. So there are two of us away the 14th. The four, well. One select board member and the town manager on the 14th. One select board member on the 21st. 
it's just, it's just not it's just not good is what it comes down to it just conflicts um, and there's not enough time to do it like later in the week prior to the 28th because there's a return date that's right before the 28th so we we are kind of stuck so at this point since we haven't mapped out the evaluation process deadlines yet um, which we can do and then play with this a little more what do we want to reserve at this point? Do we want to reserve the 14th, the 21st, and the 28th? Do we want to pick yeah. just the 21st? Yeah. Maximum flexibility. Why not do it? Why not map all of them? Yeah, yeah. and then we can change, and then obviously. We'll figure out which yeah. ones yeah. to drop as we get yes. as we get into really hard to the evaluation process, which is something that's going mm -hmm. to need to yeah. be um, later this month. Yes, on the so that we make sure we have all those dates lined up and there's a traditional set of material associated with okay, figuring that out. There's a process. Just and we just have to update the dates and then work from there. Okay, so we've got no, not the 7th, but the 14th, 21st, and 28th. As possibilities. And that way they're just all on there. Mm -hmm. And we all know eh, it's not going to actually likely to, be ha to happen, but we'll take them for now so we've got the space. And we'll go from there because we will be we will have a portion of time for example between the 17th and the 14th where we won't be meeting we will be meeting but not with a full complement of members and it sounds like Mr. Wild will probably overlap some of that July time as well yeah. so we will do the best we can and we will as we do with most other things shift items around so that um, areas that are of particular global interest will not be covered while people are away. All right, so we've crossed off the 7th, 17th, and 24th, and 10th of July are all on there. Um, the 19th of June's been removed altogether, and the 26th has been put in its place since the last time we got this. Right, because of the chair at that time. Right, that makes a lot of sense. But the 26th is not something. July 26th should be. June 26th. June, June 26th. Well, it's missing one person. Samantha Andy, yeah. Yeah, the, this, there's no she consistency here as to who's gonna have away and who's not away. Um, so, we continue to figure this out, and we, we're going to be missing somebody a lot. <laughs> And I think once we start to map out, once we sit down and map out not only the town manager evaluation process, but also these items that we talked about as a group, and, but not with specific dates yet, we'll be able to figure out what we can shift to one another. And it may be that um, we need to have a meeting. Okay, so let's back up one more time. So. If we have a meeting on the 22nd because as a regular meeting, because town meeting's over, that's useful and makes the need for more June meetings a little less critical. But we're starting to lose people as we move into June. Um, May 24th, of course, would be a Wednesday, so that would only be a pre-town meeting. June 5th would be the next possible Monday. We know for sure we're going to be missing somebody there, but you'll be here for that, Mr. Slot. Okay. Thoughts? The only additional thought I have is is that um, we try and traditionally meet on Mondays, but there's right. no statute that says right, <laughs> select board yep. can only meet on Mondays. That is a fact. It's just really confusing for all of us, but yes, it is absolutely true. When it comes to the week of the 19th, Mr. Slaughter, as the chair at that time, is there any other time during that week? You're no. just gone that week. <coughs> I'm just gone that day. Oh, you're just gone I have, an, that I have day. an event in town that I'm at for part of that okay. evening, yes, so I can't. Please. So are you seeking to meet weekly during the summer, or are we? We're just trying to maximize what we've got at this point, because at this point, we, we what I'm not willing to do is I'm not willing to say we are definitely missing the week that Mr. Wall's not here. We're definitely missing the week that Mr. Steinberg's not here until we see what it is we're trying to map out against these dates. Then I figure we're going to drop a few of these dates. Okay. 
and we'll be able to do that within the next two weeks, probably, okay. is to figure that out. But at this time, I'd rather be inclusive than, be inclusive than exclusive, it. exactly, rather than trying to flip a coin as to how many times one person's going to be away versus another. So no, weekly, probably not, but we've already seen that we have a long list of things and this is incomplete. So um, if we met the week of the 19th, week of June 19th, um, people are not away then that we know of. So what if we met a different day of the week of June 19th? Everybody pull out their handy little calendar. Wait a minute, what are we looking at? We're looking at the week of June 19th. The Monday is bad, but is there some other day that week that's possible that we may in future trade off against the 26th? We would probably not meet midweek and then also meet the 26th, but we just don't know at this point which one we want to do. So I'll answer for myself, but uh, and that is that uh, I could meet any day the week of the 19th, but the week of the 20, on the 26th, I will not be here. Right. Okay. No, okay. No, it's already okay. known. So Andy, you're away on June 26th. Correct. Even though it doesn't say that on here. It doesn't yes, say correct. it. And it it's might have been to it. Just I know. I'm adding so, it to my little thing. So the 19th, so the week of the 19th, Tuesday's the 20th, Wednesday's the 21st, Thursday's the 22nd. Do we happen to know if there's anything exciting happening yes, then? Yes, not the 22nd, if at all possible. Okay, so not Thursday the 22nd. Yeah. All right. So do you, are you in town on Tuesday or Wednesday of that week? I'm in town uh, on the 21st. I think there, I have something on my calendar about there being an employee event, an all, all employee event. event oh, like the staff barbecue, whatever, summer outing thing? Something like I that. I think it's Okay, it. so that's the 21st. Yeah. So what about the 20th, Tuesday the 20th? Tuesday the 20th look theoretically possible to people? So. Looks good to me. So what we could do, given that it looks like we know that now, we could do Tuesday, June 20th instead of the 19th or the 26th. Sold. Solved? All right. Sold. Okay. Tuesday, big letters, Tuesday, June 20th. Regular meeting, and that's in addition to potential meetings on the 5th and the 12th at this point until we figure out when we're done with town meeting. And then we wouldn't meet again until July 10th. Okay. How's that looking June, to people? June 5th and June 12th? Did you say? At this point, um, we know that there are two people that are going to be away. Right. So, no, we're taking off the 12th. So we've got the 5th and the 20th as being the only June meetings. We're taking off the 12th for sure. We yeah, because okay. we're missing two people. Okay. We just realized. And so the 5th and the 20th are the only two dates. We're going to be missing mm -hmm. Mr. Wald on the 5th, it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, so we will take that into account as we plan for whatever items those are. And hopefully it won't be because we're still here at town meeting. And, and we would meet again on July 10th. And then again on July 10th, the 17th, so 24th. And at this point, yes. we're so we've got 10th, 17th, 24th. Then we've also got August 14th, 21st, 28th, again with the idea that there might we might be dropping one of those. And then September 11th, 18th, and 25th. Because we have a scan enough for me during uh, Labor Day. That doesn't work. Does that work yep. for now? Let's move it. <laughs> Can I say, say it again? <coughs> so you're saying May 22nd, June 5th, June 20th, Tuesday, July 10th, July 17th. July 24th, August 14th, August 21, and August 28th. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. And the September dates. Three September dates. Would you like a motion? Yes, I would. I move to approve the to approve the schedule, not to approve to approve as it says here. I move <laughs> to, to approve, approve the schedule for the it's 2017. Like a double negative, and double positive. <laughs> exactly. Yes, move to approve the schedule for 2017 select board meetings June through September as amended. Second. Any further discussion? And who says our meetings aren't exciting? <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Just remember we're not a 19-member council or anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> right. Okay, so key updates.
tell me anything? Do you have anything? Or tonight. Yeah, regarding town meeting no. tonight. Does anybody else have anything regarding town meeting tonight? All right. So, did you have anything else you wanted to tell us about? I have a million about? things to talk to you about. Tonight, okay. Would well, you want to tell us? Like, why, don't, why don't you tell us the short one? Okay. Um, and there may be some things to go in the email. Sure. Yeah, there's things like you put in the email. Um, Dog Park Committee, uh, we have inter uh, Mr. Wald and Mr. Pistrang and I interviewed about 16 people. There were 23 applicants. Some people weren't able to come in during our marathon interview sessions. We've selected nine to be appointed, and um, I'll send the list out to you. And it looks like a really strong committee with uh, um, new people, um, people who've been in town for a long time, lifelong residents, um, renters, owners, the one common denominator is I think they all are dog owners. <laughs> uh, but it looks like a very strong committee. And uh, Mr. Pistrang intends to, um, I've asked him to convene that meeting and he's gonna do a dual poll um, on, uh, for a meeting the first week of June. So I'll send out a full memo on that to you. When you say that 16 out of 23 were interviewed, and of course not everybody can make the particular interview date, were there people who were selected that weren't interviewed? Uh, well, just uh, one Other of the proponents, Mr. Mr. Pistro and Mr. and Mr. Diamond, uh, Dr. Diamond, who was the other proponent. Of the time. other proponent. Yeah. Okay. Great. I just, just, just in terms of some criticism that was leveled at town meeting about transparency recently. Yes. We have one um, member of the planning board who okay. volunteered, it's not because of his nature, of his membership. Okay. So, Dr. Diamond, and... Um, yeah. yeah, okay. So they're meeting the first week of June. Thank you to everyone who applied, and yeah. thank you to those of you who did all those interviews. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. And yes, as, as Ms. Kruger, I believe, has also pointed out, if any of those people are interested in any other committees, you know, mm -hmm. we should be working on that. All right. There might be some. Um, we just yeah. update you, we continue to negotiate with Amherst Media. Uh, we had two negotiating sessions the first time. The first one was really a get to know you, set the ground rules have the first initial conversations. The second one, we exchange proposals. We're scheduled to meet again next week uh, with more detailed substantive discussions about each of our sets of proposals. So that is moving along pretty much on a, every other week basis, which is good. Mm -hmm. the, um, the, um, the planning board and select board have talked about doing a downtown planning initiative of some sort. Um, and we are working on organizing that so that we can have an event that happens in June and a um, relatively defined uh, event uh, that would then uh, be revis revisited by the keyboards in September. Um, so there'll be a small group of us who are going to try and scope out what this will look like based on other experiences that we've had with planning and then sort of circulate that idea out and invite people. So we have, don't have a date, a location, time, anything, or an agenda yet, but that should be working. And then will you share the very large letters draft tentative agenda direction with the select board Absolutely. in an email from the town manager, in which case we could respond to him individually, and then if any of you feels it needs to be discussed at a select board meeting, we could do that then, but without seeing that list, that's to craft things from scratch. Mm -hmm. And we know that the planning board's put a substantial amount of thought into this already in terms of what they're looking at doing. So we'll look forward to a town manager email with that. Um, the, um, the business improvement district memorandum of understanding expires. And so uh, that has come to my attention. And we had a very preliminary conversation uh, with the director of the bid, or I have had a preliminary conversation. So that's something I'll be eager for your feedback on uh, as we move forward. Our agreement when it was signed was a three-year agreement. Um, <coughs> the university and the college, when they signed it, was a five-year agreement. They are, the um, bid comes up for renewal in a year, so they are marking that date uh, in 2018 as being an important date um, mm -hmm. as they talk to their membership and they're looking at they're starting to reflect back on what the bid has accomplished and what they want to accomplish in the, in the coming year. So it is, I think there's going to be a lot of energy on uh, major issues that they'd like to address during the coming year. 
And so you'll be signing uh, a new MOU for a period of time, yeah. even though they have to go through the renewal process just because they have to. Right. Okay. So mm -hmm. was that something? We know that it's entirely within the town manager's purview mm -hmm. to sign the bid memorandum, but was anyone expecting to see it before it got signed? Because now would be the time to mention that. Maybe what I would do is I'll share I'll share out the existing MOU, which I've just which then you, if you have comments on it or suggestions, we have not had any substantive conversations about okay. it. It's just like, hey, we got to talk about this. So I guess, uh, excuse me, it's hard when we're in a line like this. Yes, sure. mm -hmm. you can't see me. Um, my, that my main question was: Is it essentially a continuation, or do you see anything changing? And I don't mind taking a look. I, I had looked at the old one at some point, and mm -hmm. I think it's manager's participation. There's an amount of money, and I don't know what else, what other commitment. But it, if it's essentially doing that, but for another year or longer, then it, it, was, did, it has a couple small things, uh, more logistical. We want to have a clear um, conversation about. Who takes care of what, i.e., the lower level of the parking yeah. garage? That mm -hmm. seems to be, you know, sometimes the town does it, sometimes right. it doesn't. We want to be clear about who's responsible for certain areas like that. Mm -hmm. that sometimes it, it, some things are sort of spelled out, but um, we, through experience, we've learned that it, it would benefit from having more okay. detail. Exactly to be more, okay. So, so, so we'll get that. Yeah. 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 And then you'll tell us. Yeah, that, or even yeah, just if you want. But for if you see something, I'm like, why are we doing this? I have right. to. Or I've yeah. been hearing about one because some of us go to their forums. Yes, so, so that would be helpful. Particularly like just giving us a heads up, <coughs> in some in some fashion about those other the, the sort of newer things because mm -hmm. the other stuff is probably mm -hmm. just a continuation. Yeah. Um, the. I signed the preservation restriction for the library, um, which uh, has been winding its way. This is something from the previous Board of Trustees mm -hmm. that had not been mm -hmm. executed, and um, so it has gone through the trustees, it has gone through the Historical Commission, it has gone through the Town Manager's Office, it's now at the State uh, for their review and approval. Um, and everybody seems to be on board with how that, what that's looking for. Um, uh, excuse me, yes. really briefly. Yes. Um, Mr. Buckman, um, if that comes up tonight in the discussion of the library, which it could, mm -hmm. then I, I would think maybe it would be appropriate for you to share sure. that. Mm -hmm. that so sense? everybody on the town has signed off on it. It's now just right. up to the state. Right, because it often it comes come up. up at, it will come up. At yes. <coughs> be prepared. Question. Yeah, and that's yeah. the right answer. Yes. What you just told us is mm -hmm. happening with it. Yeah. The, the best answer we have. The, um, no, side. Mm -hmm. my, we have received a grant for a solid waste coordinator, as you well know. Um, this is something I'm told you had talked about last summer with Mr. Hackenleiter when the grant was applied mm -hmm. for. I've not found anything in writing on it. We um, but the time has come now for us to execute the grant, which I'm inclined to do. And here's why um, this, and I can share more information with you if you want to think about this. Um, the, it's a grant that pays about half the salary of this person. We would have to keep the person for two years, but no longer. The state would fund the entire first year, and then a portion of the second year, uh, um, the, the way it's, or the way it's um, organized. Um, and then, um, and, and then we could make an evaluation whether we would be able to, to uh, contain the, continue this. The question was, how do we pay for this? We're looking at the reduction. I'm looking at the reduction in hours and stat and the uh, pay level of our community health director as being the way where some of the funds could come to support this uh, as we start to, to ponder through this for FY19. That's what we're really talking about. So, a couple of things. Yeah. One is this is going to be more than you thought it was going to be. So, Explain, agenda, explain like. again about the salary because we've gotten somewhat different messages about it's half a salary for two years or now it sounded a little bit like it's more of a salary for part of the first year. It's so what's that? The, the, the town contribution in the first year is yeah. zero. Okay. Um, but there will be some ancillary costs like if, they, if the person chooses health insurance or right. things like that. Uh, the second year, the town dollar commitment will be $32,000. And the, the state's contribution will be $50,000. So this person will be paid 
$82,000 in irrespective of benefits? It'll over two years. I'm confused. I have a question. Um, but we don't even, I can't even understand this most basic math. So I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to say that again. Um, they will be placed on our, they will be paid $15 an hour at least. So that works out to about $50,000. But given our schedule, we have to put them on a certain schedule in corner in our personnel. Okay, so here's here Go ahead. coming back this up. So one, there was in no way unanimity that we were ready to do this okay. when it came up before, and it was being pushed very heavily by the solid waste uh, right. master plan and the recycling refuse management plan. Mm -hmm. It was not included in the budget purposefully. It was right, correct. And so. That was a signal that we have not made a decision. If we had made a decision, we could have included it then, even though we didn't know for sure about the grant. It was, it was, it was mm -hmm. listed in the budget mm -hmm. as a as chance. a possible. Yeah. It was not agreed upon that that was a policy priority. That doesn't mean you can't do it anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. But that it was not necessarily a policy priority. There was a good bit of discussion around what this person's job actually would be because it seemed quite clear from the information we were given that it was in no way, shape, or form a substitute for what used to be Ms. Waite's position, but it was a completely different position that had to do with enforcement, yep. not education. Mm -hmm. And so um, what that actually would look like, we were told we can find out down the road because there were still more hoops to jump through as to whether or not we were actually going to get it, what it would actually look like. And so I'm not comfortable saying the select board thinks this is a good idea or a bad idea when we don't, I, there's, we don't have we a job busy town meeting time, mm -hmm. we would know the actual dollars both years yeah. Yeah. and we would be able to compare that to all the other things we're so, not doing that we wish we were doing and what that person's okay. actual responsibilities would be like yeah. and then I think we could make a more informed decision. But other members of the select board. I suggest we make it an agenda item so that we can see, you know, either a description. I had, we had that same question. It seemed, from what I'm remembering, heavily enforcement rather than education, which may or may not be as much of interest to us. And I remember that um, being a, uh, an important thrust of the Solid Waste Committee, but not necessarily beyond that, that more enforcement was the way to go. And, I'd want to know what the <coughs> job description was as required by the grant. Mm -hmm. I just a, a short, so we can make an and I know I just a short comment and I'm sure we'll get to this again. It's, it's a lot harder to let someone go after they've worked for the town and made connections after two years, even if you start out with well it's two years and then we can let yep. the person. You can't, it's, it's really hard to do that. Okay. So again, we understand that technically you don't need to ask us, but we would, we would like to have, <laughs> we would at least like to talk through what the ramifications are, and then if you choose to make a decision that doesn't agree with ours, then that's what happens. Yeah. Mr. Steinberg. I mean, just today. briefly, that I think that there's a fine line between um, enforcement and education because I think that some of the goal is I really just to get people to comply and education um, is a way of reducing what you might call enforcement in a heavy duty sense. Um, so in addition to the budget, um, a description of the position yes. would also be helpful because I think that we're getting confused in the jargon. Exactly. Right, because you could just assume what those two words mean rather mm -hmm. than what they actually mean. And, the, yep. and I'm guessing the grant has some specificity associated with it based it on what I remember of it from way back months ago when we talked about it. So. Yep. So other future of, of the, the millions of things you'd like to so tell us about. The only thing I really want to bring up is that um, the next um, coffee with the uh, town manager will be on May 19th at Atkins flagship store. Uh, <laughs> May 19th. It, um, what, what saw that in the news and announcements that we all subscribe to. What time yes. is it? 7.30 to 9 at uh, Atkins on Bay Road. Yep. Um, oh, I know. Yeah. And uh, Dave Zomack, the assistant town manager, will be with me on this one. Um, there might be. 
ahead. Just on outreach, there might be a way to let people who live at um, Applewood, Applewood sure. know, Absolutely. and then there's also some associations for Hampshire Village and the the Orchard. If they're not to let everyone know, but maybe their officers could get the word out. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, whatever their usual <laughs> communication <laughs> email. I'm sure they they probably switched to email by now. Cool. What else? That's all I have. Oh, you can do that. Come on. Okay. So, and just to back up for a moment on the Amherst media negotiations, yes. you're still doing that with Mr. Steinberg and Mr. Slaughter? Yes. Indeed. Just so yes. we know that we, that's who I've been telling people to yes. funnel their questions yes. to. Okay. Great. Thank you. And thank you both for doing that. Other reports from the select board on things we need to know going into this town meeting or prior to next Monday's meeting, which is going to be a night as Mr. Brockman just mentioned uh, here minutes ago, that we're going to have a first look at a uh, marijuana principles document, which Mr. Kravitz has been working on and which Ms. Kruger and I have also been looking at with him. And it's um, quite extensive, and I think you'll find reflects a lot of the different things and pulls it all together in a place that we can look at and then eventually turn it into more of an elevator speech um, as necessary. The letter to the co-chairs of the committee is going out soon. And um, so that follow-up is in process. And then we'll also look at our special town meeting dates because there's already been some question as to backing up things for um, items associated with our marijuana discussion and when zoning type items versus non-zoning type items would need to get worked on in order to be ready for that fall town meeting. So we need, we're going to take a look at that slightly sooner than we usually do, although Ms. Puppel usually gets us set up with that in the summer anyway. But we'll try and look at that next week if we can have the time to put it together because of course she doesn't just look at the calendar, right? She has to consider all the holidays and everything else that's in there. So anything else? Because then I'm going to ask Mr. Steinberg to make a motion. I move to adjourn. Second. Further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 And at 6.46 p.m., we are adjourned. Thank you, Amherst Media. We are awesome.